So do you, do you expect possibly a cheese, or do you think it's just going to be standard play from both players? I think it's going to be standard. Uh, I don't think midday cheeses. I, I think midday is lactose intolerant. <laughs> I think he's he's very lactose intolerant. I think uh, Saravati also respects him too much. Yeah, honestly, the respect, the amount of respect these two players have for each other is actually insanely high. Um, even though midday doesn't seem to be all that cheesy of a player, he does have a decent amount of all-ins that can be considered cheese. Um, it's kind of di- uh, the all-ins would probably be way too dicey just to be or in in the third game of a best of three versus plus, right. hands down the best Protoss player in Edmonton. And and there's uh, I should say that well, Cl- Saravati, I almost called him Claravati. Uh, Saravati was known to cheese against um, Grape, who was the top Edmonton player or top Edmonton. I just can't talk today. Uh, Saravati was playing in Saskatchewan. And the top Protoss player that they had there, oh, he's faking. Is he faking? Uh, yeah, he is. I rush? don't think he's going to be investing into yeah. this. And see, this is why you have the two drones, like I was saying before. He's even pulling down more, saying, no, I'm not even going to take a shred of a chance. And Midday already has the spots picked out. Oh, um, and he's actually well, going to commit no, to it. Yeah, he's actually he's going to go for a couple of cannons. And... We have an SOS on our hands. Okay, well, never mind. We were just talking about how they respect each other that much. But really, Saravati is is not pulling out any stops. And there goes one probe. The other losing some shields. It's still full health. I have to stop and see the cannons. The cannons are going to be stopped. And actually, there's still two inactive drones that weren't doing anything until just now, actually. Um, I think Midday can hold off of this, but at what cost? Uh, He might lose a few drones off of this. But even then, I still... He lost one drone. He lost one drone. At this point, like, I think he's just a bit ahead of Saravati just because, actually, there's three more cannons and the uh, initial pylon hasn't been sniped off yet. No, but the initial pylon is about to be finished off before the others can go up. He's going to have to worry about... Man, he is really dumping just everything into this. Midday has just got to be frustrated beyond reason. He is going to have to pull back and sacrifice his hatch. That's okay. Uh, Wow. I think he's just going to build a spine crawler as natural and just be able to push up and kill off the pylon. Uh, that's usually what happens to be able to hold it off just because spine crawlers out outrange cannons. Right. But at this point, he's not really responding other than making by 10 links and a single gas. Uh, I'm really not sure if that's a proper response. Um, I really prefer the spine crawler myself. But actually, Midday is just going for the uh, snapback all in and he's just going to push out and hopefully just kill Saravati at this point. The only thing is that there is already a photon cannon that is just getting ready to finish and the wall has completed. Midday's going to see this and he's not going to have any way to get in. Midday actually in a pretty a pretty bad position in my opinion. Yeah, um, he's uh, he's really not doing too well right now. Really not being able to do anything. I mean, him have only having one gas uh, and really no real economy still being I mean, did, on one base. Did you go for like a baneling bust? Honestly, on one base, I still don't think that it'll be all that good. Um, and just because the wall off isn't mostly cannons, it's yeah, or pylons rather, it's still not all that fragile. I mean, maybe he could send up two links followed by bane links, so that the bane links wouldn't be targeted first by the cannon AI, unless Saravati was very good about specifically targeting the bane links, which he probably would be. And it it's just. Midday's in a terrible situation. He does take the third. And he has a... Yeah, he's got the patrol going. That was just a, a huge investment by Saravati. But it did in the end pay off. Um, Saravati's actually lost uh, more in resources than Midday has right now. But I think that also isn't as true just because the amount of uh, money Saravati is actually able to mine right now. Right. He's fully saturated on his I mean, main. He's, and he's, he's, he's lost more in terms of straight resources spent with no gain. However, his economy is in a better position. Yeah, for sure. He's and spent more, but he's making more. Yeah, and honestly, at this position, I would honestly just all in. Like, he's throwing on a Stargate. I'm not exactly sure if he's just going to be going Oracle just to um, abuse the fact that Midday really has no anti-air. Right. Because he doesn't even have his first queen up. Wow, and Saravati is, is really fearing a roach all-in. He's got three cannons straight up at the front. 
and he was sitting pretty at one. He probably would have been okay at one with a zealot and the sentry. But he throws down two more. Uh, mad respect. Yeah, for sure. And actually, Midday is oh. able to poke out the uh, Artosis pylon, but Sarvati does no, throw another. But, oh, that's, that's wow. How did that probe get in? I actually have no idea. I don't even know where the probe come from. Like, how? This is terrible because, I mean, now he's going to... Yeah, he's... He sees the probe now. Oh, wow. He's, he's seen the pylon. He's got to be feeling just terrible. And you do have an oracle rallied all the way down to the third. He knows that it's there. He doesn't know how saturated it is. Doesn't matter. Honestly, Saravati just in a dominating position at this point. Yep. Uh, Midday is going for the Roach Warren, but even then, like the supplies are dead even, and that should not be happening in a PVZ. Um, Midday also only being on two base econ, not being able to secure a third. Uh, I think he'll just make like four or five roaches to snipe off the ca uh, the pylon itself, just so he can finally take a third. Right. The mothership core is moving down now, as uh, is an oracle, to really say, okay, you know what? You can have one queen here to stop the oracle. You can't have one queen that's going to stop us both. And there's the time warp even going down, slowing things all the more. Spore crawler is coming down, and the queen is. Yep, you're dead. There is one, two. No, not even quite getting that third drone. That was a little bit of a mistake. Uh, the sport crawler could have been Doesn't canceled right cancel. in there. But I think he's hoping that it's just going to get the mothership And core. I don't think it will be able to. Oh, 10 health. One more shot would have done it. He is just taking out... Uh, Everything just going in Sarvati's favor at this point. Yep. And the second oracle actually coming in. Um, not really doing anything at all. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to just send it off to the natural and be able to get a few kills. Oh, man, and a lot of drones just spawned at this third. They should not be there by any stretch. Oh, there's another one killed. So we've had uh, nine workers now killed, and it was two initially. So seven, seven drones have been taken out by this attack, along with, you know, one was spent to become a spore crawler that really didn't do a whole lot. And actually, Saravati getting a second Stargate, but not having any robos. I'm honestly not sure if he should be going pure Stargate, but I honestly, I'm honestly just the type of player that really prefers his Robo over Stargate versus Zerk. Right. But at this point, Midday in a pretty bad position. He does start up his third, but there's still no drones on it at all, and yep. there's a GG. Yeah, he saw a Void Ray that came out, and, and he knew he was just too far behind, and he just said GG. Yeah. So, wow, some indeed, there, there was some cheese. And uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this match. Much more to come in the future. Stay tuned. Uh, we have the rest of both brackets to go through. We're going to be going on for a little bit tonight, and we'll be back soon.